If you love to upcycle and you're looking for something warm and cozy, well, you're in luck. Because today, we're going to repurpose old sweaters into a fashionable and snuggly scarf. And it's easy when you use your brother sewing machine. So if you're ready, let's make it. You'll need your brother sewing machine, two worn out, once loved old sweaters, a measuring tape, scissors, a rotary cutter and straight edge, and straight pins. Remember, you want to choose sweaters that are no longer wearable. Whether the elbows are worn out, they're ripped or have small holes in them, you can repurpose the usable parts of the sweater. First, deconstruct your sweater, which means you'll need to cut off the arms at the shoulder seams. Then, cut open the side seams and cut the shoulder seam, that's from the top of the armhole to the neck. Set the sleeves aside and start by measuring your sweater to see how much material you have to work with. Measure the width and length of the back piece of your sweater and measure the width and length of the front piece of your sweater. For the scarf, you'll create two pieces, a front side and the back side. The front side will be made of a mix of both sweaters and the back side will be made all from one sweater. I'm using one sweater that's plain and another sweater that has a little nubby texture to it. The plain sweater will be my base and the textured sweater will be my accent piece. The scarf we're making today will be finished at 70 inches long and 6 inches wide. You can alter the length and width to fit your needs right now. The back side of the scarf we're making today will be the plain color sweater. So create four sections that equal 70 inches, two sections at 20 and a half inches, and two 14 and a half inch sections. All of them are six and a half inches wide. These measurements do include a seam allowance. The front of the scarf will be made up of 13 six by six and a half inch squares, which will alternate between the plain sweater material and the textured sweater material. The ends of the scarf should be the textured sweater material. So you'll need six squares of the plain sweater and seven squares of the textured sweater. Using your rotary cutter and straight edge, cut out the sweater pieces. And yes, there's a lot of measuring and cutting in this project. Now, pin the four back panel pieces together with the right sides facing each other and sew them together on the short edge. Here's a top tip when sewing sweater material. Increase the stitch length to a 4.0 so it doesn't stretch and pull the sweater fabric. Now, finish sewing the back panel pieces together. Next, piece together the squares for the front section of the scarf, alternating between the plain material with the textured material. With the right sides facing each other, sew the alternating sweater pieces together. You should now have two long panels of sweater fabric complete. Lay them with the right sides facing each other and pin them in place. Sew the long sides together, making sure your stitches are straight over the connecting seams. Sew one end completely closed and sew the other end, leaving a small opening in the middle. Back at your workspace, Turn the scarf right side out. To finish, fold in the raw edge of the small opening at the end of the scarf and pin it closed. Hand stitch it together with coordinating thread. And there you have it, a warm and cozy scarf perfect for those chilly days. Plus, you're repurposing old sweaters and giving them a new life. So with a little inspiration and some imagination, you can upcycle old garments when you use your brother's sewing machine and turn them into something new to you again.